Hi friends, welcome back. After looking at uh, one configuration of RC, where R was in series and C was in shunt, we found that uh, it is going to behave like an integrator when the product R into C is very much high compared to the pulse width. Now let us see the other combination where C is in parallel, I'm, I'm sorry, C is in series and R is in shunt. Now what would this happen? How does this uh, circuit behave when a pulse input is applied? The pulse is having a zero voltage since long time and at this instant suddenly it surges to V volts and then remains at this level for some time and then suddenly comes down to zero. Then let us see what would happen. So to have a better vision, I'm showing the input pulse in an enlarged way. And uh, let us begin our journey. And under uh, normal condition, the capacitor would be uncharged. So there will be zero volt across this. And any change in the capacitor voltage needs current to flow and current to flow needs voltage across the resistor and that's what we had seen in our uh, initial lectures where we were talking about RC circuits. Okay, now what would happen if a pulse is applied? So when the pulse is applied at this instant there is sudden rise in the input and that sudden rise in the input cannot make the capacitor voltage to change because it needs current to flow and the rise in this voltage is not going to make any current to flow and hence the voltage at this point also will suddenly rise. Earlier this point voltage was zero this point voltage was also zero then at this instant suddenly this has gone up to v and because this voltage is zero therefore this will also go to v that means now v is across resistance r and because of which the current will start flowing and because of this current the capacitor starts getting charged and this is how the capacitor gets charged and the process we know very well. So if you just look at what is going to happen with the output. So till the input is constant, there won't be any change in the output. It is going to remain zero. The moment the input surges the output also shoots up by same value and once the output goes high to voltage V then there is a voltage across R which is equal to V and because of this V current I starts flowing and because of this current flowing that has to flow through the capacitor the capacitor gets charged in this direction plus here minus here and finally the voltage across this keeps increasing exponentially and hence the voltage across this should keep decreasing exponentially and this is what happens it keeps decreasing exponentially and this continues till we reach the other end of the pulse and when we reach other end of the pulse, the input suddenly drops back to zero volt. And by the time the output has gone down to zero exponentially and he is remaining at zero. So now the output voltage is zero and the input changes from V to zero that means there is a sudden drop 
in input by voltage V. Therefore, we should expect the same drop in the output also by V. But by the time this drop starts, this has already reached zero. Therefore, from zero, it suddenly drops by voltage V. And once it drops, then again it gets charged and back to zero. So that's the wave shape of the output. Now, what does this uh, represent? This is trying to say that the output is uh, visible only when there is sudden change in the input or the output is visible when there is change. So change is something to do with the uh, differentiation. So can this be used as a differentiator? So what is uh, what do you think differentiator output should look like? The differentiator output something to do with at this point there is sudden rise yes there should be a positive spike and at this point there is sudden fall and there should be a negative spike so there is should be a positive spike here because there is sudden increase and there should be a negative spike here because there is sudden decrease and this ideally go to plus infinity and minus infinity because the rate of change is infinite because in zero time it has changed from zero to v so it is uh, the difference v minus zero divided by time is zero so v by zero that is infinite so something to do with the uh, infinite change positive infinite change negative infinite change that's uh, ideal issues but when you talk of practical nothing can change in zero time so though we are saying a pulse supposed to be uh, having a vertical edge but in reality pulse will have some shape like this so this is not going to be a vertical and hence there is some limited slope and that limited slope is going to be visible here but uh, it's not going to be a spike what we are seeing is some shape like this and if you want it to be like this the only option is try to minimize this region so try to reduce this region so reducing this region means the changes should be done as fast as possible that means the values r into c should be very much small small what small with respect to the period of the pulse or the pulse width to be precise so if rc is very much less than pulse width then this looks almost like a spike and with rc very much less than pulse width this circuit behaves like a differentiator so we use this circuit with a rc very much less than the measurable period then it behaves like a differentiator and the other circuit with uh, rc very much greater than visible period then it behaves like an integrator so for a pulse circuit the same rc circuits which we had called uh, low pass filters high pass filters for uh, sinusoidal inputs now they are behaving like integrator and differentiator for pulse waveforms so many more uh, things to come and this circuit now can be 
made use of uh, timing purpose then this uh, width has something to do with tau where tau is the time constant of the circuit so roughly speaking this width has something to do with tau the smaller tau the smaller width so you can control this width using the value of tau and that way timing can be put under control or we can think of uh, measuring or talking about time through this type of circuits how they are done that's what we are going to see in our coming lectures so that's it uh, for now what uh, rc circuit can do with uh, pulses one way it acts as an integrator other way it acts as a differentiator so that's it for now more to follow so keep watching thank you